Welcome to the Parent Matters Podcast, where we help you navigate the ever-changing landscape of parenting and equip you with tools to confidently parent your children. I'm Susan Stutzman, and today I'm talking about mom anxiety. Every mom struggles with it to some extent. Am I good enough? Do I do enough for my kids? Will they turn out okay? How do I teach them without squashing their personality? How much do I give and take? And how does any mother stay sane through it all? Being a mom in this age of technology, where Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, and Pinterest are now old platforms and keeping up with all the changes can feel like an overwhelming task. Some days leaves me wondering if I measure up and it causes mom anxiety. Well, news alert, I don't always measure up and I can never be everything always. However, I am my kid's mom and I love them. And I'm finding out that being present and showing up with presence, my presence, not gifts or presence, is better than having the perfect summer vacation planned, or capturing the perfect picture. But there are moments when I still wonder if that's good enough, hence the mom anxiety. So in order to decrease my anxiety this summer, I have made it a goal to practice ways to stop looking to media for my inspiration, working on loving what I have, not thinking about what I don't have, cultivating gratitude, and working to not apologize for the way I don't measure up to media standards or perfect-looking influencer moms. Don't get me wrong, looking like a perfect influencer mom is enticing, and cultivating habits of not comparing is and will not be the easiest thing in the world. But it does take some of the pressure off. So... I thought I'd talk about this feeling that I have, this anxiety of being a mom, and about two ways I'm going to work to reduce that anxiety this summer. So here are the two ways. I'm going to start doing this. First, I'm going to keep a list of what I'm grateful for in a prominent place in my house. For me, this is my kitchen fridge. I love to eat, I love to cook, and it is the central hub of our home. The second thing, I'm gonna keep time in my schedule to just play without an agenda with my kids. I often try to do this, but I end up having an agenda, like sneaking in a reading or math quiz, asking lots of questions to challenge them, or just letting them play while I'm nearby. Don't get me wrong, these things are not bad in and of themselves, but playing without an agenda reaps different interactions. Recently, I've been reading Dan Siegel and Tina Payne Bryson's book, The Power of Showing Up, and I've been finding inspiration around why showing up and being present for our kids matters so much. And this includes playing without an agenda at times. Although it's not easy, the more we show up for kids and put our anxiety of presenting perfection to the side, the more we can have genuine relationships with others and we can find the support that we need that helps decrease our anxiety by cultivating gratitude This can really impact the way that our anxiety presents as we're grateful for things and as we are able to be in the moment and present and play with our kids. Anxiety seems to grow when we feel like we can't share who we are with anyone or have to be something that we aren't. It's in the unknowns of parenting, though the feelings of insecurity, and the not measuring up, but showing up and being genuine with our kids that can provide security and connection 
And when we experience connectedness with our kids, then the anxiety starts to dissipate because the perfect picture doesn't matter as much. And where you go is less important than who you're with. And what you're grateful for begins to be something that's at the forefront of your mind. And your children begin to change because you're changing. I invite you to join me this summer in tackling your mom anxiety with me. No matter how big or small it is, why don't you come along with me and try to keep a list of what you're grateful for and review it often. Schedule intentional times to play with your kids and think about reading the book, The Power of Showing Up. Let me know how it goes. And if you found anything else, a helpful practice in reducing anxiety. Thank you for listening today. I wish you a season full of the ability to be genuine through every moment. The interesting, the hard, the happy, the sad, the up, the down, and the sideways of parenting. And may your summer be filled with decreasing anxiety as you navigate complicated mom life. If you found the conversation useful, subscribe to the podcast and please join me again next time for the Parent Matters podcast, where we explore the ever-changing landscape of parenting. And remember, don't parent alone. The topics discussed in this podcast should be considered a matter of personal opinion. They do not reflect professional advice. If you or your child is in need of mental health counseling support, please search out a licensed counselor. No financial compensation is gained by promoting any of the books or topics listed today.